is going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood saying, as always, is back once more, ready to react. Now, as some of you gents and gentlewomen will remember last time, we left off from Infinity Gauntlet, which that's a good goddamn fucking like act, if you will, act of a fucking storyline. But it was awesome. I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was an amazing joyride, and I couldn't help but wonder. Where do we go from here next? Like, who's the next villain? What's the next part of the story that's set to take place after the Infinity Gauntlet? And the base premise of the story is primarily, like, weird things are happening all over again. Like, there are doppelgangers popping up that look like exact duplicates, except more monstrous-like of certain heroes on Earth. Like, for example, Spider-Man fights an exact replica of him that I believe has six or eight arms. That reminds me of a Spider-Man villain. I, I fucking remember seeing that enemy as a child somewhere in some book. I can't remember what. But I think his actual name might be Doppelganger. I'm not sure, but I remember seeing him in particular. Everyone to even Thanos to even Galactus can like sense like the power scales are like off the charts. And like balance is not right at all at the moment with the universe. Something big is happening out there. And from there, enter... The Magus, I, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, who basically ends up being an, basically think of it as the maestro with the Hulk, like an evil counterpart of Adam Warlock from the future, like Adam Warlock from an alternate timeline, who ended up becoming a huge shit, and just proceeded to become a conqueror, like just went mad basically. Now I will say this, I liked the Magus, but I didn't like him as much as Thanos. Uh, okay, he, let me elaborate on that. It's not because Thanos is always going to be Thanos. It's not that. Like, I love Thanos to death. But in terms of... How should I say this? In terms of, like, their complex motivations for doing some of these things. Like, yeah, a lot of people at first glance would be like, Oh, like, yeah, Thanos is fucking crazy. He's just insane. That's his only motivation. But there was a certain charm and jank behind it i hope i'm using that word correctly about him like purely wanting to be with mistress death and do anything at all to gain her courtship her attention i actually found that really complex to be honest for me personally and with the magus it's nothing really special he just wants to conquer a life as we know it all throughout the universe that's it and the comic is as good as you can fucking expect it now i will say this probably no there's no probably it's my favorite moment of the whole fucking comic is every moment that dr doom and kang the conqueror are on screen and it becomes a fucking buddy cop movie. I absolutely adored those sections of this fucking storyline. Like, you'd have Kang the Conqueror and Doom setting out on this fucking hunt to, like, figure out what all this nefarious shit is happening. And during it, while they're actively talking to each other, they're actively planning out ways of the other one's demise in the process. It's the fucking best. I absolutely loved it. And, yeah, man, it, it pretty much, it was good. Now, I'm not going to give this a better than sex rating for this book. Just because... <sighs> okay, this was great. But I loved Infinity Gauntlet a lot more in terms of like sheer scale and size. Just how dark it got in general for me personally. This, this felt... I want to say a lot more lighthearted compared to Infinity Gauntlet. It has like... Not necessarily a more cherry tune, but it wasn't as dark, and I feel like the scale was a lot more smaller. Maybe that's just because in this you didn't have fucking the mages fighting off, like fucking the Eternity, Love and Hate, Silver Sur like all those other guys. Maybe that's it, but I felt like the scale was really small. Like it wasn't as much of a spectacle to behold as Infinity Gauntlet was. Like it was great, don't get me wrong, I love it, but it's not on the same level as infinity gauntlet for me personally that's just me personally i'm not saying that as like the norm for everybody else but for me personally infinity gauntlet was better but yeah man i had a blast with this again like just like the previous installment the writing is tight the character interactions are tight as well. You get the Avengers and you get the X-Men all in there. The chemistry and the story of the buddy cop movie between Kang and Doctor Doom is a very probably the best highlight of the entire thing to me. And the Majors, he was pretty cool too. 
wasn't as good as Thanos, but granted, he was pretty cool too. He he, I liked him. I, his insanity has some charm to him as well. I can't even front charming <laughs> insanity. How do you even make of that? But yeah, definitely gonna get a full price for me. Definitely gonna get a full price for me. And I had a blast. And I, oh man, I think. Okay, so I know next up is Infinity Crusade, and then I think after that is Abyss. And then I think after that is the end. So we still have a good three more sagas to go. And I cannot wait to see where we go from here. But as always, if y'all like what I had to say, don't forget to like your likes, comment your comments, sub your sub, share your shares. And I will see y'all on the next video. And as always, peace and chicken grease.